Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design and it is called or is a part of my triple single pet bracelet series and it is the triple single pet ghost. So anyway, if you're interested in making some of my other triple single pets, then there will be a link to all or to the playlist in the description. But anyway, to make this bracelet, you're going to need your loom. The instructions in this tutorial are for looms with 13 pins in each pin bar. So you're going to need to have 13 pins in each pin bar. And what that means is when you count the number of pins in the left row, you should count 13. So 1, 2, 3, you should count 13 here on the left. Here in the middle, you need to count 13. 1, yeah, 13 here in the middle. And then 13 over here on the right. Now, if you have a crazy loom that has 14 pins in each pin bar, you can still make this bracelet. You'll just have one extra row of pins left over. You will also need your hook. Any hook will work. I'm going to be using this plastic hook here. And you will also need a clip. I'm going to be using a C clip because I just have so many of these just sitting around and I can't find my S clips. Now, you will also need rubber bands, of course, as you can see. And there are three different groups and I'm going to go ahead and explain what each group is. This A group or these A rubber bands are going to be the actual ghost. So the white in the example. These B rubber bands, which I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're clear rubber bands, are going to be the extra rubber bands in the bracelet that are not actually the ghost. So these blue rubber bands here in the example. Then the C rubber bands are going to be anything involved with the ghost face. So the eyes and the mouth. Alright, so... The number of rubber bands you're going to need is going to appear on the screen now. Alright, and now that you know what you're going to need, get your supplies and use the pause button so that you can do so. And I will see you once you have- Alright, so, to begin making your bracelet, you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing away from you. And you're also going to need 17 B color rubber bands and 23 A color rubber bands to start. Now to begin making your bracelet, you're going to start by getting one B color rubber band and you're going to place it going up your loom from this first middle pin to this second middle pin. Then you're going to get another B color rubber band and place it going up on your loom from the second middle pin to this third middle pin. Now you're going to get a or an A color rubber band and you're going to place it going outwards from this third middle pin to this third left pin. Now you're going to do the same thing for the right side. You're going to get an A color rubber band and place it going outwards from this third middle pin to now the third right pin. Now get another A color rubber band and place it going down your loom, going from this third middle pin to this fourth middle pin. And you're going to place six more A color rubber bands going down this middle pin bar. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now you should have a total of two B color rubber bands and seven A color rubber bands going down this middle pin bar. Now you're going to continue with B color rubber bands. You're going to get one B color rubber band, 
and place it going from this 10th middle pin to this 11th middle pin. Then get another B color upper band and place it going from this 11th middle pin to this 12th middle pin. And your last B color upper band for this middle pin bar is going from this 12th middle pin to this 13th middle pin. Now your loom should look something like this. And once your loom does, you're now going to place some rubber bands over here on this left pin bar. So to do this, you're going to start here on this first middle pin once again, arrow still pointing away. And you're going to get a B color rubber band and place it going outwards from this first middle pin to this first left pin. Now you're going to get another B color rubber band and place it going forwards from this first left pin to the second left pin. Then, once you're here on the second left pin, you're going to place another B color upper band and place it going forwards to this third left pin. Now you're going to switch over to A color upper bands and you're going to place your first one going from this third left pin to this fourth left pin. And you're going to now place six more A color rubber bands after this one. So, one, two, three, four, five, and one more, six. Now you should have something like this. And you should have a total of two B color rubber bands and seven A color rubber bands going down this left pin bar. Now you're going to switch back over to B color rubber bands. And you're going to place your next one going from this 10th left pin to this 11th left pin. Then get another B color rubber band, place it going from this 11th left pin to this 12th left pin. And your last B color rubber band is going to go inwards from this 12th left pin to this 13th middle pin. Now your loom should look something like this. And once your loom does look something like what I just showed you, you're now going to place rubber bands on the right side of your loom. Now to do this, you're going to start back here on the first middle pin arrow is still pointing away and you're going to start with a B color rubber band and you're going to place this B color rubber band going outwards from this first middle pin to this first right pin then you're going to simply mirror what you did here on the left so I'm actually going to fast forward myself placing these next rubber bands because all you're doing is the same thing you did here on the left you're going to place two B color rubber bands so two more here on the right, then seven A color rubber bands, and then two more B color rubber bands, and then one going inwards to the middle. So just do exactly what you did here on the left. And if you're not sure how to place those rubber bands, just look at what you have on the left side of your loom. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward myself placing the rubber bands here on the right. Just use the pause button if you need to. Alright, now as you can see here, I have finished placing all the rubber bands that I need to on my loom to create just a triple single, or, well, a triple single with this weird thing here. And, well, you should have placed the rubber bands you need to as well here on the right side of your loom. And now your loom should look something like this. Alright, now once you've placed that there, so basically you've placed the body, now we need to place the rubber bands for the little feet, I guess you could say here on the bottom. Okay, so to place the little, little bottom here with the, you know, 
that weird stuff, you're going to need to turn your loom around so that the arrow is pointing towards you. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find the fifth left pin. So first we're going to start here on the left. So count this first left pin as one. One, two, three, four, five. Now this should take you to right here. This is the fifth left pin for me. It should be for you. If you're using a crazy loom, you will have this extra set of pins. Just ignore those and count this here. Just ignore the first pin in each row and then count five. But anyway, the fifth left pin is this pin right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the top rubber band on this pin off just like that. Then you're going to do the same thing for the middle pin bar. So start here on the first middle pin and count five. One, two, three, four, five. Then take the top rubber band off of this fifth middle pin. Just take it off like that. And this, these rubber bands should get caught underneath of the rubber band on the previous pin. So if this is not happening right now, then you placed your rubber bands incorrectly and you'll need to go back and fix that. But anyway, you're going to do the same thing here on the right. One, two, three, four, five. Top rubber band, just pull it off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our hook and we're going to make one of the little feet here on the bottom. Now to do this, you're going to get two A color rubber bands and you're going to just put them on your hook just like this. Then you're going to twist these rubber bands like that and put this new little shape you create onto your hook like so. Now you're going to get two more A color rubber bands and put them on the hook part of your hook just like this. Then slide these two rubber bands that are actually that were on your hook before onto these two new rubber bands you just put on your hook. So these two down here are going to be slid up here. Bam, just like that. Now you're going to put the other end of the rubber bands that you're holding with your fingers onto your hook with the other end. And now you should have something like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to transfer these rubber bands on your hook onto the fifth, goodness, the fifth left pin. Now to do that, you're going to have your hook and you're going to take maybe one or two layers at a time, take them off of your hook and be very careful the other layers do not come off. And you're going to transfer the layers that you're holding with your fingers onto the fifth left pin. Then you're going to do the same thing for the remaining layers on your hook. So just take them off of your hook and put them on the fifth left pin as well. Now you should have something like this on your loom. Now what you're going to do at this point is this rubber band that you had taken off before you're going to grab it and place it going back across the fifth and fourth left pins like that. So just stretch it back onto the pin it was on. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook again or you can just use your fingers and what you're going to do is you're going to transfer all of these rubber bands you just put on this fifth left pin onto this rubber band you just replaced like that. So. If you want, you can use your fingers. You're just going to transfer them all on to this rubber band here, just like that. And now you should have something like this. So when you pull a little foot, or I guess whatever you want us to call this, it should be pulling this rubber band with it when you do this. Now, you're going to do the same thing for the middle pin bar and the right pin bar. So do that you're going to get your hook grab two a color rubber bands put them on your hook like so 
Then twist the rubber bands when they're on your hook. Twist them like this and put this new shape you create onto your hook as well. Okay, that should not happen. There we go. Now you're going to get two more A-color rubber bands and put them on the actual hook part of your hook. Then you're going to slide these two rubber bands that are already on your hook onto these two new rubber bands you just added. So just push these. Okay, seriously. Alright, so just push these onto these two new rubber bands like so very easy now you're going to put the other end of these rubber bands you're holding with your fingers onto your hook as well and now what you're going to do is you're going to transfer these rubber bands on your hook onto the fifth middle pin this time so you have your hook you grab one or two layers make sure the others do not come off of your hook then you're going to transfer whatever you're holding with your fingers onto the fifth middle pin. Then you will do the same for whatever is remaining on your hook. Now, once you have transferred those rubber bands from your hook onto this fifth middle pin, you're going to grab this rubber band here that you had taken off of the fifth middle pin. Eh. Grab it and stretch it back onto the fifth middle pin. And now you're going to transfer these rubber bands you just put on the fifth middle pin onto this rubber band you just replaced. So a little foot here. And you can use your fingers if you want to. I find it easier to use my fingers. I'm just going to pull them over the pin and onto this rubber band. Now when you pull this rubber band by the little foot that you just added, you should get something like this happening. Now you're going to do this one more time and for the right side now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time because that's how many more times you got to do it. There we go. You're going to get your hook and you're going to get two rubber bands and they should be A color rubber bands and you're going to put them onto your hook just like this. Then you're going to twist these rubber bands while they're on your hook and put them and put this new shape you create onto your hook as well. Now you're going to get two more A color rubber bands and put them on the actual hook part of your hook. Now you're going to slide these two A-color rubber bands that were on your hook first onto these two new A-color rubber bands. And now you're going to put the other end of this rubber band you're holding with your fingers onto your hook. Now you're going to transfer these rubber bands on your hook onto this fifth right pin now. So. To do that, just grab a couple layers on your hook at a time. Make sure the others do not come off of your hook. And put these layers that you took off onto the fifth right pin. Then do the same for the remaining layers on your hook. There you go. Now this rubber band here this A color rubber band that you had recently taken off of the fifth right pin, you're going to replace it on. So there you go. Now you're going to transfer the rubber bands you just put on this fifth right pin onto this A color rubber band that you replaced. So just use your fingers or your hook, whatever is easiest, and just pull them over the pin and onto this A color rubber band above them. And make sure you get all of the layers so there should only be two layers of rubber bands on the fifth right pin, the fifth middle pin, and the fifth left pin. So there should only be two layers left. And when you pull the little foot here, it should be pulling this rubber band it is on with it.
All right. Now you are done with placing little feet rubber bands and that. Now you need to get your all of your C color rubber bands so we can place them on your loom. And these C color rubber bands are the faces. All right. Now you do not need to turn your loom around. Just make sure the arrow on your loom is still pointing towards you. And you're going to need to get all three of your C color rubber bands. Now what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to be making three triple cap bands. And well, to do this, you're going to need to find the 10th left pin. So come down here to this first left pin and count this one as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I think I said you're going to be placing three triple cap bands. You're only going to be placing one. Or actually you're not going to be placing any triple cap bands. So sorry about that. <laughs> you're just going to be placing three different cap bands. But anyway, once you have found this tenth left pin, you're going to get one of your C color ripper bands and turn it into a cap band. And to do that, you're going to twist this rubber band into an eight or an infinity shape like so. Then fold this rubber band back on top of itself like a book. And now it should look like you have two rubber bands instead of one. And that is your cap band. So now you're going to place it on this 10th left pin. Now what you're going to do once you've placed that is you're going to grab it and stretch it back to the ninth left pin. So here's the tenth, stretch it back to the ninth. Oh, and mine just flew off. Okay. There we go. So you should have something like this on your loom. Now you're going to do the same here on the right. And you need to find the tenth right pin again. But instead of counting, you can just go straight across from the 10th left pin. So just go straight across to the 10th right pin. So that's your 10th right pin. And you're going to make another cap band. So get another C color rubber band. Twist it into an 8 or infinity shape like so. Fold it like a book back on top of itself. And now you should have two layers. Or what well, looks like two rubber bands, but instead of one. And you're just going to put this cap band on this 10th right pin now. Now you're going to do the same thing for this cap band. You're going to grab it and pull it back to the 9th right pin. Now you should have something like this on your loom. Now you're going to make the mouth. So what you just placed were the eyes. If you can really if you couldn't really tell. Now we're going to place the mouth. Now to place the mouth, you're going to first make this a cap band. We're going to be turning this into a quadruple cap band. Now to turn this into a cap band first, you need to twist it into an eight or an infinity shape. Fold it like a book back on top of itself. Now it looks like you have two layer or two rubber bands instead of one. Now put this regular cap band on the ninth right pin. On the eighth right pin. And the eighth right pin should be right below the eye on the right here. Now, as you can see, you have two little layers for your cap band, what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of them, twist it, and put this new shape you create from twisting it onto this eighth pin as well. Now it looks like you have three, la la three little layers. Now you're going to twist the same layer again, if you still have it on your fingers like me, just grab one of the three layers and twist it again and put this new little shape you create from twisting the rubber band onto the eighth right pin as well. Now you should have four little layers for your cap band and that is what your quadruple cap band is now. So now you have your quadruple cap band and once you do now you are done placing 
your C color rubber bands, and now you need to get the rest of your A color rubber bands, and two more B color rubber bands, because now it is time to place the rubber bands that will hold the three rows of the three rows of rubber bands together. Okay, so to place the rubber bands that will be holding all three ro separate rows of rubber bands together, you'll need the arrow on your loom to be pointing towards you. And you're going to start with a B color rubber band. And what you're going to do is you're going to place a triangle shape on your loom on the third, left, middle, and right pin. So find the third left pin to start, one, two, three, and place this first B color rubber band as a triangle shape going across the third left pin, the third middle pin, and the third right pin. And this should be just a regular triangle, it should not be upside down. Now you're going to get one more B color rubber band and place it going across the fourth left middle and right pin as a triangle shape as well. Just like that. Now you're going to turn over to A color rubber bands and you're going to place set you're going to place six You're going to place six more A color rubber bands in the same triangle shapes going down your loom. So now we're here on the fifth left, middle, and right pin. Then get another A color rubber band and place it going across the sixth left, middle, and right pin. Place another triangle on the seventh pins. Place another triangle here on the eighth pins. Okay, I gotta turn my loom. And place another here on the ninth pins. And one more there we go, on the tenth pins. Now you should have no more A color rubber bands. Now, what you're going to do at this point is you're, you're going to get another B color rubber band and place one more triangle on your loom. But you're not going to place this B color rubber band on the 11th left middle and right pins right here. Instead, you're going to place it here on the 12th left middle and right pins. Like this. As another triangle shape. Make sure all of these that you placed are in triangle shapes. So as you can see here, I skipped these three pins, and you should have as well. There shouldn't be a triangle here, but you should have placed one B color triangle on the 12th left, middle, and right pin. So now your loom should look something like this. Right, and once your loom looks something like that, you're now going to get one more B color rubber band and your hook because now it is time to loom your bracelet. All right, now as you can see here, I have the pink background, so that means it's time to loom. And also, before we begin looming, you need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is still pointing towards you. That has not changed since we have placed the little legs down here on the bottom. And also before we begin or place anything else, we need to get our hook and we need to do something with the eyes and the mouth. Now what you're going to do is very simple. I'm going to show you here with the left eye. You're going to get your hook, grab the left eye, both layers, and pull them both over both pins this eye should be on. So let me show you again. Get your hook, you grab the eye rubber band, and pull it over the pins it is on, and onto these A color rubber bands above it. 
and they used to be regular triangle shapes, but now the triangles are a little distorted. You're going to do the same thing for the right eye. You're going to get your hook, grab the eye rubber band, and pull it over both pins it is on. Now you should have something like this. Once you do, you're going to do the same for the mouth, but you'll need to be a little bit more careful because quadruple cap bands are a little more difficult to work with. So I would recommend grabbing one or two layers at a time and pulling them over the pin they are on. And then do the remaining layers. Now, once you have transferred all of the eyes and the mouth, you are now going to be able to start looming. But before we do, we need to make one cap band so we can start looming everything else because without a cap band, the rubber bands are just going to fall off the pin. So, we need to make a cap band with a C color rubber with a B color rubber band. Now, to make this a cap band, you twist this rubber band into an A or infinity shape like so. Fold it like a book back on top of itself and put this new cap band that you create onto this first middle pin and if you have a crazy loom then it would be the second middle pin because you'll have the extra three the extra row of pins in front of you but anyway once you have placed this cap band on the first middle pin you can grab your hook and start looming now looming is very very easy all you're going to do is pull back the cap band Grab the top rubber band and loom it outwards to the second left pin because that is where this rubber band should be coming from. Now looming all three rows of this is basically the exact same thing you would do for a triple single except for up here with these rubber bands. But just ignore these for now. We're not going to loom them yet. So these here these here at the end. So just ignore those, we'll loom those later. So just loom the left row of rubber bands like a regular triple single. So just pull back the top rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. Then again, pull back the top rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. And then same here where you have the little feet, you just pull back the cap or the top rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. And you just continue this going all the way down the left side of your loom. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward myself looming the rest of this row. Just use the pause button if you need to. Alright, I completely forgot it's not really exactly like looming a triple single especially when you get here so when you get here you actually do not pull back anything you just grab the top rubber band and loom it forwards so if this rubber band here that should be going inwards is loomed forwards then you need to go back and fix that so make sure you have something like this on your loom and if you do not you need to go back and fix it it's very easy but anyway, just use the pause button. Anyway, now we need to loom this rubber band here that goes inwards from this last, from this 13th left pin to this 13th middle pin. So just grab this bottom rubber band and loom it inwards. Very easy. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did here on the left, now on the right. We're going to come down here to this first middle pin. Pull back the cap band, grab the top rubber band, and loom it outwards to the second right pin because that is where this rubber band should be coming from. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did here on the left, now on the right. Pull back the top rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the next right pin. The only exception is up here where you have these weird diagonal rubber bands. Instead of pulling anything back, you just simply grab the top rubber band and loom it forwards. So make sure you do not pull anything back on the the 11th 
the 11th right pin to be specific. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward myself looming the right side of my loom as well. Just use the pause button if you need to. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see here, I have finished looming the right side of my loom. And all I need to do is loom this rubber band that goes inwards from the last right, from the 13th right pin to the 13th middle pin. So just go into the 13th right pin, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it inwards to the 13th middle pin. Now we're going to loom the middle row of rubber bands. And I'm going to go through and show you how to loom this row because there are some things that you'll need to do when you loom the middle row. So I'm going to go through and just tell you what you need to do. So this part will not be fast forwarded. Now to loom the middle row of rubber bands, you're going to come back down here to the cap band on the first middle pin. Pull back the cap band, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the second middle pin. Now here, the entire time there's nothing you will need to pull back. Except for somewhere at the end, I do believe. But anyway. So for the first few for the first rubber bands, there's nothing you need to pull back. So here on the second middle pin, grab the top rubber band, loom it forwards. Then on the third left third middle pin, grab the bottom rubber band, loom it forwards. Same here, grab the bottom rubber band, loom it forwards. I'm turning my loom, sorry. If I'm turning my loom so the arrow's pointing to the left. Okay. Grab the bottom rubber band, loom it forwards. Grab the bottom rubber band, loom it forwards. Grab the bottom rubber band, loom it forwards. And again. And then here you might need to pull back this rubber band because it's kind of squished onto this middle pin, so you'll need to pull that back. And grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. Now once again here, now once you get here to this 10th middle pin, so 13, 12, 11, 10, right here, you're going to loom this rubber band like normal, grab the bottom, loom it forwards, but before you continue, you're going to loom these diagonal rubber bands here. Now to do that, you're going to come over here to the 11th left pin, just grab the bottom rubber band, and this rubber band should be the diagonal rubber band, and loom it inwards to the 11th middle pin where it should be coming from. Now you'll do the same here on the right. You'll come over here to the 11th right pin, grab the diagonal rubber band, and loom it inwards to the 11th middle pin where it should be coming from. Now here is probably one of the only... P now here is another place you'll need to pull back some rubber bands to continue. So here on the 11th middle pin, keep your earloom still, Venice. pull back the top rubber bands, all of them, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the, to the next middle pin, then here on the next middle pin, just grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards to the 13th middle pin. And now you are done looming all of the rubber bands you need to for your bracelet. So now your loom should look something like this. Alright, and once your loom looks something like what I just showed you, it is now time to take your bracelet off of your loom. So, get your hook again, and one more B color rubber band because now, well, it's time to take your bracelet off of your loom. That's what you're going to need. Alright, so to take your bracelet off of your loom, 
you're going to need your hook first. You're not going to need this B color rubber band just yet. And you're also going to need to make sure the arrow is still pointing towards you. Now, it's very, very easy taking your bracelet off of your loom. You're just going to get your hook, grab this cap band here on the first middle pin and just pull it off of the pin. Then you're gonna do the same thing over here on the left. Just grab the rubber band on that pin Take it off the pin. Same on the right. Take it off with your hook. And well, you're just going to continue taking rubber bands off of your loom, going all the way down your loom, up until you get to the 13th middle pin. Do not take these rubber bands off of this 13th middle pin. You will need them for your last rubber band or your last B color rubber band. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward myself, taking these rubber bands off of my loom. You're going to continue as well, but just use the pause button if you need to. Okay, so as you can see here, I now have my little ghost bracelet. And all the rubber bands have been taken off of my loom except for these here on the 13th middle pin. And once you get to this point, you're going to get your last B color rubber band in your hook again. And you're going to stick your hook down into this 13th middle pin. And then make sure that you stick it down far enough so then when you put stick your hook out to the side like this, it catches all of the rubber bands on this pin. Then you're going to get your last B color rubber band, put it on your hook like so, just actually on your hook. Then slide your hook back up through this 13th middle pin and make sure when your hook, oh, okay, well make sure when your hook comes out on the other side, there is only one rubber band, the same rubber band you put on it. And then you can take the rubber bands off of this 13th middle pin. Now you need to put the other end of this rubber band you're holding with your fingers onto your hook as well. And once you have done that, you are now done with your little bracelet. So now you need to make an extension. And well, to do that, you're going to need to get some more rubber bands and your loom so we can do that. Okay, so to make your extension, you're going to need to choose any two pins on your loom. I have chosen these two here. You're also going to need some more rubber bands that will be your extension. I would recommend using the same color as your B color rubber bands. And you will also need your bracelet still on your hook. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get your bracelet that's still on your hook and you're going to transfer this rubber band that is on your hook onto these two pins you have chosen. Now, to do that, you're going to grab one side of the rubber band, the other end is going to stay on your hook, and you're going to put this end that you grabbed onto one of the two pins you picked. Then you'll do the same for the other end. You'll take it off of your hook, but this time you'll put it on the other pin. So there you go. Now you're going to start making your extension. Now, because this rubber band is stretching across these two pins, you can make any bracelet you wish to be your extension, as long as it only requires two pins. So you could make a fishtail extension if you wanted to. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a single chain extension. So anyway, to make a single chain extension, you're going to get an extension rubber band and you're going to stretch it going across these same two pins as this rubber band you just transferred. Then you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band on one of the pins, pull it over the pin and release. Then do the same for the other pin. Grab the bottom rubber band, pull it over the pin and release. Now you're going to do the same thing again. Grab an extension rubber band stretch it across the same two pins as this rubber band before it then get your hook grab the bottom rubber band on one of the pins pull it over the pin and release then do the same for the other side grab the bottom rubber band pull it over the pin and release 
Now, as you can see, my extension is already starting to form, and yours should be as well. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to continue this extension two more times, and then I'm going to fast forward. So make sure you pay attention, even though it's really easy. So to make a single chain extension, you're going to get an extension rubber band, stretch it going across the same two pins as this rubber band placed before it, get your hook, grab the bottom rubber band on one of the pins, pull it over the pin and release, then do the same for the other side. Grab the bottom rubber band, pull it over the pin and release. Right, now I'm going to show you one more time. You're going to get an extension rubber band, stretch it going across the same two pins as this rubber band placed before, get your hook, grab the bottom rubber band on one of the pins, pull it over the pin, release, do the same for the other side, grab the bottom rubber band, pull it over the pin, and release. Alright, so now that I've shown you plenty of times, I hope, of how to make your extension, you are now going to continue making your extension and this continue this simple pattern of placing and looming over and over until you make your extension long enough so that your bracelet will fit around your wrist. So I'm going to go ahead and actually fast forward the video here until I finish making my extension long enough for me. So yeah, just use the pause button if you need to. Okay, so as you can see here, I have now finished making my extension. Now my bracelet can fit around my wrist, and you should have finished as well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our clips and attach it to both ends of our bracelet so we can actually wear this as a bracelet. Now doing this is very, very easy. You're just going to need your hook one more time. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab one end of this rubber band so I'm going to grab this end here, pull it off of the pin it is on, make sure the other end stays on the pin it is on. Now take this end, oh goodness, don't let that happen. Take this end that's on your hook over to the other end of the rubber band on the other pin. Now there should only be one pin on your loom that has rubber bands on it. Now you're going to stretch this rubber band on this one pin back to another pin on your loom. There we go, just like that. And that will make placing your clip on a lot easier. So once you stretch that rubber band, you're going to go ahead and get your clip and attach it. Super easy. Then once you have your clip on this rubber band, just take it off of the pins. Now you have your clip attached to one end of your bracelet. Now you need to take your cap band here on the other end, so this over here, and you're going to stretch your cap band going across any two pins on your loom, just like that. Then get your clip on the other end of your bracelet and attach it to your cap band. And done. So once you have your clip attached to your cap band, you can now take your cap band off of your loom. And now you should have your clip attached to both ends of your bracelet. So once this is true for you, you can go ahead and put your bracelet on. And bam. Oh my. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and bam. So now as you can see here, I am wearing my triple single pet ghost bracelet and you should be as well and well that's what I hope and also hopefully you are enjoying your triple single pet ghost and now you're gonna scare people with it Woo! <laughs> yeah I don't think this will scare anybody but eh. <laughs> but anyway Hopefully, this tutorial showed you how to make the triple single pet ghost successfully, and hopefully you're wearing your little bracelet and enjoying it. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thanks for watching, and bye!